Captain Dave here. I'm in the tackle vault and I saw another video by one of the hooked up network individuals, uh, the same network that I belong to. That's why you see sometimes in the corner of the videos, you see a little symbol, a little watermark or whatever. It says HU, that stands for the Hooked Up Network. And, you know, you get friendly with some of the guys. Then I watch it, what some of the other guys are doing. And I didn't know, I really didn't know that I was probably supposed to be videoing almost everything I do. You know, it just doesn't, I'm still not in that mode that, Stuff that has nothing to do with out on the boat fishing uh, is what people want to see. Uh, I don't know. Me, I'm, I'm always interested in fishing. But from what I keep being told is all that other stuff is what matters. Fishing? <laughs> eh, nobody cares about the fishing. Seen one, seen one trout, seen them all. So, um... It's all this stuff in between that is so interesting. I didn't know that. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to be interesting. Okay. And what I got here is, well, I, what I saw was a rod rack, a real fancy rod rack that one of the other hooked up members just got, you know. And I mentioned to him that, man, I just built a rod rack. Maybe I should do a video about it. So here you go in low light conditions in the tackle vault. I'm going to show you the rod rack that I just built like three days ago. Okay. Now granted, mine isn't, you know, it's for HD tackle. It's for that saltwater stuff. That heavy duty tackle that weighs a lot, you know. <laughs> Not necessarily weighs a ton, but weighs a lot. So I'm going to show you right now the rod rack that I built for like 30 bucks. I think it was 35 because I had to buy some glue. All right. Have you figured it out yet? Okay, let me show you. Let me turn the camera around. Well, there you go. In this low light conditions. There it is, folks. My PVC rod rack. Holds 10 rods. It's made with this new space age stuff called PVC pipe and fittings. An old throwback to my plumbing days. Yes, a trip to Home Depot and a pocket full of tens. You, you too can fashion such a exquisitely handcrafted rod rack. Mine's made out of thin wall inch and a half PVC, some T's, some elbows, and there you go. Really something else, isn't it folks? You've shown the tackle vault before, and here is some rod racks that I've had for a long time that were built by a coworker of mine in the carpentry shop of the University of North Florida at lunchtime back when I worked there some 20 odd years ago. But let's swing around. Let's swing around. Oops, here's an inventive rod rack. Oh, check the aesthetics out on this SOB here. Woo! Look at this. You're getting a shot of the only four spinning reels that I even own. They get worked hard this time of year. 
You've got a milk crate with PVC screwed to the outside. Makes for a stable rack. Yes, PVC screwed to the outside of a milk crate. But look at all those rods. But then let's bring our attention over here. There we go. There's a jumbo rod rack made out of PVC. Same thing, inch and a half pipe. Okay, inch and a half pipe. You got some T's and some elbows to put this rack together. I needed something a little more spread out. So I made this one into like a big square. And then of course I've got a cheapy ass Okuma rod rack over here with more rods. And then of course over here, I've got all my float rig fishing equipment set up on another one of those handy dandy build at lunchtime at the University of North Florida carpenter shop. Two pieces of wood with pegs put in them. You can tell we are on the cutting edge of rod storage over here at the Casa de Deluxe, Jetty Wolf. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the simplest rod racks and rod storage humanly possible in low light conditions here in the tackle vault. Thanks for watching. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to let everybody know you can check me out on Facebook under Captain Dave's Sport Fishing. Yeah, come on over. That's my business page. I also have a personal page, but guess what? The only person ever posting on there of what they ate for breakfast and lunch is a guy named Mitch. Because I don't find any of that all that entertaining for the regular people. I usually put up stuff like tackle, fishing reports, other videos that I find interesting that have to do with the fishing world. So come on over to Facebook on Captain Dave Sport Fishing. Look me up. Come on over and say hello and maybe take a picture of what you ate for breakfast. And go ahead and post it on my page. I don't mind. Everybody does it. See you there.